What's the deal, YouTube? I'm back with another reaction video. <clears throat> Today we got uh, the story of uh, four extras. Uh, shit, we finna get into it. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe on the road to 1K. Yeah, we not finna prolong it, bro. Shit, hit the subscribe button if you're a new viewer. Uh, shit, what else? If you're a returning subscriber, I appreciate it. Get into it. Welcome back to another episode of Warren Cali. In this episode, I'm going to detail the story of Rolling 40 Crip, Four Extras. Four Extras would be born in 1988 and grew up in South Central. His childhood, he would grow up in the Rolling 40 neighborhood Crips turf. The Rolling 40s are a gang located on the west side of South Central and was established over 40 years ago. They will become a well-respected gang and go to war with several gangs as well. 40s have several blood and Crip rivals that they beef with. They beef with blood gangs like the Rolling 20 Bloods, BPS, and the Brams. They also beef with several Crip gangs, with gangster Crip gangs like Five Women Troubles, Five Dudes Broadway Gangster Crips, and several other gangster Crips including the Five Dudes Hoover Crips, who are part of the Hoover car, but also part of the gangster car. But that makes them beef with the rest of the Hoovers as well. The 40s are neighborhood Crips, which includes several gangs in that alliance, and they're also in a part of the Rolling No Alliance, which includes gangs from the 30s to the 100s, meaning they're affiliated with every gang that's under those two umbrellas. In the past, the 40s have went to war with gangs that they were allies with, being the Rolling 30s and the Rolling 60s. And at a point, the 40s war with both of those gangs got deadly. But since then, the wars with those gangs has calmed down, and they have been associated with both of those gangs. The 40s have four cliques, oh, like the a a little something. He know a little Avenues, something. Park Side, Western Side, and the Dark Side, oh, which used to be the Hoover's turf, but is now the Rolling 40s turf. The street lifestyle was all four extra seen growing up when he went outside. With all his family being from the 40s, it was all he knew as a kid. So he would jump in the streets early with his older cousins being a part of the 40s. He looked up to them and always wanted to be around them. So hanging out with his cousins led to him getting put on at the age of 11 years old. This would lead to him running four phase and also a four man pack out just to join the 40s. All the people he fought was older teenagers, ranging from 15 to 17 years old. He will become a part of the dark side 40s. Okay. I'm born and raised in the hood between on Western Vernon. I'm mm -hmm. born and raised in the set mm -hmm. in the 40s, South Central, off the back. I always hung with my cousin. Mm -hmm. You get what I'm saying? Especially growing up in the ghetto. You get what I'm saying? I ran after him. So, boom, I jumped off the porch at 11. I got put on. But with his mom and dad finding out he was a member of the 40s after he got a tattoo, they would spy us out. But at the same time, they would understand what era and neighborhood they lived in. His dad and mom wasn't involved in the streets. They promoted going to school and working hard. His dad was in the army, but four extras went a complete different way in life. But being Hell in the streets no. would immediately That's take a bad turn for four extras. By the age of 12, four extras would go to jail for attempted murder, and he would go to youth authority, where he would spend four years in jail and get out at the age of 16. But this would start his life of crime and his future of going in and out of jail. That nigga was trying to pop some at 12, boy. Just because a few months later, he would land back in jail over a gun charge where he would receive nine months. Four extras would go to camp for the gun charge. While in camp, he was nonstop fighting and having interactions with his rivals. After getting out for the gun charge at 17, just months later, he was back on the streets. He was doing whatever to make money, which included robberies and hitting licks on homes. He would later be arrested for a robbery at 18, and he would hit the L.A. County Jail for the first time. And you know the reputation of the L.A. County Jail. Notorious for all the gang activity and reputation for being one of the toughest county jails in America. Four extras will later be sentenced to six years in prison. While in prison, he would experience riots, people getting stabbed, people dying, and being in plenty of altercations. He will only do four years out of his six year sentence and jump right back into the streets. Off his release, four extras will focus on money and try to get legit businesses and put on for his hood. But this wouldn't last long. He would get sent back to prison for various charges. And these cases would have him doing a long bid. While in prison, for an extra would get an extra charge for stabbing his own homie, with his homie being exposed for being no good, which got him almost two extra years. While in prison, four extras would decide to make the rest of his prison stint productive. He would read books and also write his own book. Four extras would do almost ten. Stab people dying and being in plenty of altercations. He will only do four years out of his six-year sentence and jump right back into the streets. Off his release, four extras will focus on money and try to get legit businesses and put on for his hood. But this wouldn't last long. 
he would get sent back to prison for various charges. In these cases, would have him doing a long bed while in prison. For an extra, would get an extra charge for stabbing his own homie, with his homie being exposed for being no good, which he got him almost out here stabbing. Him. Well, he was no good. Shit. Two extra years Shit. while in prison, four extras would decide to make the rest of his prison stint productive. He would read books and also write his own book. Four extras would do almost ten years. Four extras would get out in 2023 and would make an immediate impact and splash on social media. He also gained a quick following. Four X was the most get known after he did an interview with the podcast Drinks with Jinx. Shout out to that platform if you haven't already. Watch 4X's interview on Drinks with Jinx's channel. 4X will talk about a lot of things in that interview, but most known, he talked about where he got into a fight thing? with 107 Hoover rapper, Jack Five. Right. You know what I'm talking about? How about the famous rappers? I know you fought one of them. Uh, oh, what's one you talking about? Jack? Jack from where? The Snoop. Oh, from Hoover? Yeah. Oh, oh he, he a rapper now? He a, yeah. Oh, <laughs> oh, 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 he a That nigga talking about, oh, he a rapper now? <laughs> Hey, fool. Yes, he yeah. was. Yeah, he man. Was. He talking about the young kid, man. The young kid, man. You know? I heard he got hands, yeah. though. Oh, he, oh, he got I heard he got hands. Have it that day. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> that nigga said he ain't have him that day. Fool, oh, hell no. Hey, hold on. <laughs> that five gained a reputation for nah, being an active hooper, no. known for being a fighter and a boxer. So many nah, people were questioning. No, nah, he got a squabble, man. I don't know if you, hey. He for sure testing niggas' chins in that bitch. I ain't gonna lie. For an extra story, Jack Five would say he only lost because he ran several fades, and Four Extras fought him after he ran several fades. But Four Extras would say this was a lie. Four Extras would double down on what he said already on Cam Capone News and address the situation with him and Jack Five. Everybody know my MO from the streets, you know, to the jail system. You get what I'm saying? But you know, they asked the question, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> that nigga said he didn't have him that day. I'm out. I told him I booked him, you know what I'm saying? And I guess, you know, his step pops responded back with some lies, whatever his stepson told him. But they ain't on his step pops, though, because he didn't know. He was going by what his stepson told him. But I had to set the record straight, you know? Of recently, 4Xers has been promoting his book and has been doing several interviews with No Jumper, Kim Capone, and several other platforms. He's been promoting himself on Instagram as an influencer as well. This will conclude. I ain't gonna lie, no shit. Hope he stay alive, you know, move right. He already know. Shit. He know how LA could get, man. Shit, that's the end of this video. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe on the road to 1K. I'm out of here. No cap. If you fuck with this, let me know in the comments, nigga. Anything else y'all trying to see, let me know in the comments, bro. Returning viewers. God damn. Returning viewers, appreciate you. Uh. New viewers, please subscribe. That's all I ask. No cap, I'm out of here.